Live on NBC 12, this is News Watch 12 at 6. Good evening, I'm Jessica Jukage. Depending on the lake, ice conditions vary depending on a wide variety of factors, but it never stops people from trying to get out on the ice. That's why professionals are offering some advice on what to do in the event of a scary situation. Tom Quant Jr. is the owner of Bulldog Off-Road Recovery Service. He's one of the only companies in the area that does ice recoveries, and being in the business all his life, he's seen a lot of people and equipment go through the ice. No ice is safe ice. I mean, it's all unpredictable. You know, if you're walking out, you're better off just testing holes as you go. Quant Jr. says due to the weather, the ice conditions are not safe for hardly anything. If you plan to venture out, plan ahead by bringing along ice picks and, if possible, bring someone with you. Brian Gehring with the Pine Lake Fire Department adds more. Please let somebody know if you're going out alone where you're going. Uh, so that if, you know, something does happen, uh, they can send out help. Chief Gehring says in the event that you do fall through the ice, try to remain calm to avoid shock. Try to work your way to the edge of the ice and pull yourself up onto the ice. Once you've pulled yourself onto the ice, roll away from the hole before you try to stand. Crawl or slide to try to evenly distribute your weight until you feel safe enough to get up and walk away. Conrad, will we get some colder weather to improve those ice conditions? Yes, yeah, I got some good news for us. A lot more cold air is on the way, but we got to wait a couple more days for that. I went ice fishing today, and it was a little bit sketchy in some spots, so please be careful out there, guys. Now, we did have a little bit of snow earlier this morning, uh, trace in some places, but Adams County, they got in on a couple of inches of snow. Now some drizzle is falling there right now. Of course, temperatures are well above freezing, and that's exactly what they're getting. Northern Illinois, though, check that out Macomb getting a little bit of snow as well now temperatures overall though have cooled off and of course still a little bit of snow is on the ground a trace here in town down by Wausau same story and then just south of Wausau into Adams County Madison Milwaukee area they do have a lot more snow Madison is looking at around three inches on the ground right now right it should have came a couple of days ago right in time for Christmas high temperatures earlier today not in the 40s we we're back a little bit cooler in the 30s mid 30s to be exact. Look at Shano though, 41 degrees. So whatever ice is on those lakes was slightly melting away and getting a little bit weaker. But don't worry, reinforcements are on the way. Overnight tonight, we will really cool off back well below freezing. But our average low is around 7. We're not going to be anywhere near that anytime soon. Up until next week when cold air starts to roll in. For tonight though, well above average temperatures like I was saying, mid-20s outside. Jessica? Universities of Wisconsin's Board of Regents will hold another closed session meeting tomorrow after firing the Chancellor of UW-La Crosse. The board terminated Chancellor Joe Gao last night after they learned he was creating pornographic content with his wife and uploading it to explicit websites. According to Friday morning's agenda, the meeting will be held to discuss the ongoing personnel matters and potential litigation caused by the firing of Chancellor Gao. The regents will also discuss strategies as the system attempts to find a new chancellor. The Wisconsin Department of Justice is investigating an officer-involved critical incident in the Marathon County that occurred late last night. Just before 11.15 p.m., the Everest Metro Police Department received a 911 call about a domestic incident. Officers arrived at a home in the 3300 block of Mount View Avenue in the village of Weston and found a man assaulting a woman with a blade. Two Everest Metro Police officers then discharged their firearms, hitting the suspect. Life-saving measures were attempted, but the man died at the scene. Officers found the female who had sustained life-threatening injuries, and she was transported to a local hospital. Law enforcement were not injured, and the two officers involved have been placed on administrative duty per agency policy. The man accused of firing into vehicles traveling on Highway 51 has been found unfit for trial. 41-year-old Benny Green is facing 13 charges, including first-degree attempted homicide stemming from the October shootout. At his trial today, a doctor reported that he has found that Green is not competent to stand trial. The Marathon County judge in charge of the case agreed with the findings by the doctor and ruled Green not competent. A review hearing in this case is scheduled for February 26th. 
One local county highway has had some concerns surrounding it for some time. This has led to some local residents fighting for better road maintenance. Our own Christopher Bouchong joins us with more on the fight for better roads. That's right, Jessica. According to some residents, County Highway A in Oneida County is in need of improvements to keep drivers safe. So today, the Oneida County Public Works Committee met hoping to resolve the concerns. I spoke to one resident who has been leading the fight for better maintenance. It just needs to be more maintained with the plowing and the sanding. Maybe if they could get like a part-timer for the winter. Kelly Keating is a resident of Three Lakes. She was concerned with the maintenance of County Highway A, so she started the petition a few months ago. Basically, we're just concerned about the plowing and the upkeep and maintaining of the highway with the washouts. The drop between the blacktop and the gravel is quite significant. The arrows, the speed limit. During today's Oneida Public Works Committee meeting, Alex Hegeman, supervisor of the Oneida County Highway Department, spoke on the concerns that Keating shared. He suggested that the highway department could lower the speed limit around 10 miles per hour. On a highway like that, you cannot speed. It's hard to even go the speed limit due to the corners, the turns, the drop-offs. Um, if the county can lower it 10 miles per hour, why not? During the meeting, a committee member said he believes the county should make financial changes for the safety of residents. The county can actually move some money around to make certain things happen to better County Highway A. Hegeman said that the highway department will investigate what corners need a little extra shoulder room, which can create safer turns and a wider road. If they can come out and do the arrow signs like they were discussing, drop the speed limit, look where the major drop-offs are, and maybe get some guardrails up there. Keating said she is thankful for the work the plow trucks and highway department do, but she will always stay fighting to keep residents safe. Important upgrades. Thank you, Christopher. There's just a few days left of 2023. Coming up after the break, we'll have tips for setting realistic New Year's resolutions. That's After Weather with Conrad right here on Newswatch 12. This portion of Newswatch 12 is brought to you by Furniture and Appliance Mart. The holidays are winding down. Coming through. Time to recharge with a new Toyota during the final days of Toyotathon. Get $1,000 cash back on your favorite models when you finance through Toyota Financial Services. Toyota, let's go places. Northwoods Furniture and Mattresses Holiday Sale is going on now. Enjoy store-wide savings on quality furnishings and mattresses. We've taken deep discounts on name brand closeouts from Flex Steel, Lazy Boy, Smith Brothers, Sealy, and more. We need to make room for new merchandise now. Don't wait. Hurry in for best selections. At these prices, they won't last long. Happy holidays from all of us at Northwoods Furniture and Mattress. Mm. It's nothing. Sounds like something. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, unsystemic diarrhea. Pepto-Bismol coats and soothes for fast relief when you need it most. Vicks Vapo Stick provides soothing, non-medicated Vicks Vapors. Easy to apply for the whole family. Vicks Vapo Stick. And try Vicks Vapo Shower for steamy Vicks Vapors. Uh-oh. Did your holiday hosting create a couple extra stains in your carpet? Or do you just need an update for your old flooring? Come to Carpet City Flooring Center and start your year off right with free carpet installation. That's right, free carpet installation. If money is a little tight, Carpet City Flooring Center can help make your project affordable with interest-free financing. Get your free carpet installation today. Carpet City, our prices will blow. The holidays are winding down. Coming through. Time to recharge with a new Toyota during the final days of Toyotathon. Get $1,000 cash back on your favorite models when you finance through Toyota Financial Services. Toyota, let's go places. And we're
we're back in business, guys. Things are starting to cool down, finally. Great news for us snowmobile lovers, right? And especially if you like ice fishing. Really, really good news for you. Colder air is on the way. I actually went ice fishing earlier this morning. Still lots of sketchy ice lakes out there. Uh, sketchy lakes with ice out there, but it's not safe, especially right by the edges. That's where it's the weakest ice at the moment. But there are still a couple of lakes that are in good shape. Now, low pressure system in the region. We did have a couple of flurries. Um, actually, we did also have a couple of freezing sprinkles, but mainly south of our region. Now, we're Warmer temperatures, that's all rain by Green Bay. Chicago, rain for now, but they did have a little bit of rain and snow earlier this morning. Iowa into central uh, Illinois, they are still getting some snow showers that are, are falling right now. For us though, decreasing clouds and that's going to continue overnight tonight. And we're actually gonna be cool. We're gonna be a lot cooler than what we've been seeing the last few days, mid 20s outside. So really good news for us though, of course, if you're going ice fishing tomorrow morning, that is some really, really good news. Now, if you love snow, I got some extra good news for you guys. Look at this, Saturday night into Sunday, we are looking at that snow moving in. This is gonna be a quick clipper system, nothing big. We're not talking a big blizzard at all. Just a quick one to two inches that will be possible. Maybe a trace in some spots. Then by Monday, we're gonna be in the clear. Tuesday, same story, just some cooler temperatures sticking around. Now, snowfall wise though, like I mentioned, anywhere between a trace to two inches of snow in the Northwoods, central Wisconsin, maybe an inch of snow, and then southern Wisconsin, a lot less than that. Uh, just so you guys know, finally, Snow is on the way and it will start to look a little bit white a couple days late, right? It would have been nice if it was a white Christmas this time around. Not gonna happen, of course. But look, 50 degrees on Christmas. Record high temperatures we had just a few days ago. Now, I told you guys, right? I went ice fishing earlier today. Look how sketchy this looks. In the background right there, that's open water. That was like 600 feet that way. And then when we were on the ice for like 30 minutes, maybe an hour, all that water started coming closer to us and it was very sketchy. So please stay safe and be careful out there. Guys, temperatures are below freezing right now, but it takes a long period of time for that ice lake to, all that water on the lake to start freezing up. It takes days of very cold temperature and then the ice starts to form. We're not gonna be cold tomorrow. Look at this, 41 degrees as a high. So we're gonna melt a little bit more. Then we're cooling off. Sunday, Monday, below freezing temperatures as highs. So it's gonna be very good. Good news for us, a little bit of snow as well, Sunday morning. Other than that, winds are not looking too bad. Anywhere between a five to 10 mile per hour breeze. Check out, uh, check out Mozanie though, into Wausau, a solid 12 to 13 mile per hour breeze and wind gusts are closer to 25 miles per hour. Overnight tonight though, guys, we're gonna be freezing up some of our lakes. 24 degrees as a low, partly cloudy skies and a light breeze as well. For tomorrow, a warm, mild day. 41 degrees as a high, mainly sunny skies, can't go tanning, not that type of weather, we're not in Florida. But our seven day outlook brought to you by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress does show a little, little bit of snow Saturday night into Sunday. Jessica? The Northwoods has not seen much snow this winter, but that's not the case for other parts of the state. Today, Madison had three inches of wet snow. The Madison Streets Division says the snow falling on warm pavement is causing slippery, greasy surface as the fresh snow falls on top of melting snow. 32 plows spent the afternoon clearing the city's nearly 800 miles of road to keep them clear. 2024 is a few days away and the YMCA of the Northwoods is already seeing more people at their facility. Staff members say it's because of the popular New Year's resolution of working out more. Every year around this time, of the season, the Y sees a surge in visitors. Associate Executive Director Stephanie Dahlquist says it's important for staff members to help people achieve their goals. We get all of these new members and influx of people in January, and then we miss seeing them six months down the road. So how, how do we can help them um, become realistic in finding and achieving their goals and their success? Starting next week, the YMC of the Northwoods will be offering New Year's membership specials. More information can be found on our website, wjfw.com. The Forest County Potawatomi will ring in the new year with the theme of sobriety on Sunday night. Our own Jake Force was at the Tribes Community Center today and has more. That's right. Obviously, New Year's Eve is a night where many people drink excessively well past midnight. But the Forest County Potawatomi is going in the opposite direction to promote sobriety at their New Year's Eve powwow. 
We want to promote sobriety, healthy living, and well-being, and we want to get back to culture and just having a healthier community all together. The Forest County Potawatomi will be hosting an alcohol-free powwow on New Year's Eve to promote sobriety going into 2024. One of the tribe's recovery coaches, Evelyn Brown, is 11 years sober herself and says it's exciting to share events like this with the rest of the community. It's a pretty amazing life to be living and exciting to see everyone come together and want to be sober. As a sobriety counselor for teens, Brown says it's empowering to help the next generation steer clear from the path of drugs and alcohol. To be available for the youth um, at this time of my life and their life is um, an honor. Although the event will be put on by the tribe, Brown encourages anyone and everyone to attend. It's open to everyone and the public is welcome from near and far. And we're excited to see everyone show up. The doors for the powwow will open at 4 p.m. on the 31st. There will be a feast with all kinds of Native American food, a grand entry, a sobriety token ceremony, and vendors will be selling Native American crafts. Then at midnight will be the balloon dropping to celebrate the beginning of 2024. What a great way to ring in the new year. Thanks, Jake. Local athletes return to the hardwood for the Tomahawk Holiday Tournament. Coming up, Drew Chelly will have the highlights from the game. The After Christmas 36 Hours Seal is this Tuesday through Thursday at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Save up to 83% off on doorbusters and special buys, all with special interest financing for five years. Don't miss this massive savings event at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Whatever the holidays mean to you, get the most out of it in a new Honda. Whether it's taking the gang to the slopes in an available all-wheel drive pilot, delivering presents in a rugged passport, or all in a few toys for yourself in a powerful Ridgeline. Your holiday adventure awaits with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Life is short. Don't get shortchanged. Get a machine with the features you want. All standard, and all at a great price. Ride without compromise. CF Moto. Experience more together. Is that time yet? It's time. Post <gasps> oh, it's time. Donating pet food is one of the many ways you can help families in your community. Pets and people belong together. Learn more at petsandpeopletogether.org. Hurry in, America. It's time to visit your Ford dealer for the final days of the Make the Holidays Bright Sales event. Choose from a large inventory of Ford vehicles equipped with technology and flexibility for any season. It's your last chance to get special offers on our great selection of Ford vehicles. Only during the final days of the Make the Holidays Bright Sales event. Now get a built Ford Tough F-150 STX for $3.99 a month for 36 months with $53.49 cash due at signing. See your local Wisconsin Ford dealer. The After Christmas 36 Hours Seal is this Tuesday through Thursday at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Save up to 83% off on doorbusters and special buys, all with special interest financing for five years. Don't miss this massive savings event at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Local athletes are back on the basketball court today as the Tomahawk Hatchets hosted a holiday invitational on the basketball court. We start with some girls' action as the Hatchets welcome Marion in the first round of the event. Marion on the road looking to take down the Hatchets on the hardwood. Caitlin Keller had a solid day for Marion here. She knocks down the three-pointer. Back come the Hatchets. Claire Albert going to drive. She finishes with the layup. The Hatchets lead early. Play like, plays like this one are just all about effort. Watch Freya Alberg work down low. Couple of misses, but she's just going to stick with it, and she eventually is going to finish for the layup. 
Good ball movement here from Tomahawk. They're going to eventually swing it around to Kiana Vaco. She knocks down the three ball on the wing. Tomahawk gets the win at home. They win it 53-34. to Milwaukee Bucks got back in the win column last night as they went on the road and came away with a 144-122 win over the Brooklyn Nets. The win improved the team to 23-8 as they now prepare for a road trip to Cleveland. The Bucks offense continued to show why it is one of the best, if not the best, in the NBA this season. The team was able to score 144 points on the road, and the three-point shooting played a major role in that outcome. The team knocked down 23 three-point attempts, and they outscored the Nets by 48 points from behind the three-point line. Giannis Antetokounmpo led the team with 32 points. He was one of six Bucks who was in double figures. Milwaukee's off tonight before they travel down to Cleveland to take on the Cavaliers tomorrow with Donovan Mitchell. The Green Bay Packers are preparing for their Week 17 Sunday night showdown with the Minnesota Vikings with their season in the balance. Matt LaFleur spoke to the media today about Jordan Love and the fourth quarter offense as the group once again came through Sunday against the Panthers. Because, you know, early on we were in a couple of those situations where we didn't get it done. Um, and for us to, to see the growth, and it's not just... I've said it many times, it's not just him, it's, it's the collective, it's all the guys out there. LaFleur also discussed the confidence that his quarterback has continued to show with the game on the line. He's always, he's always had that, um, and that's one of the things that you love about him, is he's got a, a belief in himself and, and the other guys, and I think the other guys feed off him, quite frankly. And it's one of the biggest games of Love's career in three days, a Sunday night road game with the season on the line. We'll be right back after the break. Hurry in, America. It's time to visit your Ford dealer for the final days of the Make the Holidays Bright Sales event. Choose from a large inventory of Ford vehicles equipped with technology and flexibility for any season. It's your last chance to get special offers on our great selection of Ford vehicles. Only during the final days of the Make the Holidays Bright Sales event. Choose Flex Buy on a new Ford F-150 and get 2.9% APR financing for 66 months plus 2,500 Flex Buy cash. Only at your local Ford dealer. What do you do when your tire goes flat and there's no air anywhere to fix that? You reach for Bullseye Pro, the smarter, faster, hands-free way to fill it up with air. Bullseye Pro is equipped with a rechargeable lithium-ion power plant. So fast, so strong, and so convenient. It's like putting the power of an air compressor in the palm of your hand. Look, you can inflate all four tires of your car on a single charge or inflate a bag full of soccer balls at practice. Bullseye Pro is so advanced, it has a built-in smart pressure digital sensor that gauges and automatically stops when the set tire pressure is reached. Plus, it can be 100% hands-free. You simply set the target pressure and walk away, keeping you out of harm's way. Bullseye Pro is lightweight, durable, and powerful enough to inflate this massive monster truck tire. Plus, it has four ultra-bright LED lights to safely inflate at night. Bullseye Pro comes with three custom air nozzles on board, so you can easily inflate pool toys, exercise balls, and more. Forget driving to the gas station. Bullseye Pro is your anywhere, anytime inflation station. Call or go online now and get the complete Bullseye Pro inflation system, all for the factory direct price of just $79.99. It comes with a 90-day money-back guarantee. Plus, we'll ship your entire order free. That's right, free shipping. But to really inflate this offer, we'll give you a 50% discount on a second one. You get it all, an incredible value for one low price. Call or go online to order now. To order, call 1-800-771-1578 or go to GetBullseyePro.com. So call 1-800-771-1578. That's 1-800-771-1578 or order online at GetBullseyePro.com. Order now. Featherstone Cabinetry and Design thanks you for your business this year and wishes you a Merry Christmas. Have a safe and happy holiday season. 
Well, you guys, I was here last year, and this is not like it was last de oh, end of December. Not at all, not at all. This time last year, we had like a foot and a half of snow on the ground. It was crazy. A lot. I know I Drew know. just got yeah, here. I know. Drew does not know yet. I wouldn't know. Drew just no. got here. But yeah, last year, Drew, it was a complete different scene. We had like three times as much snow. It was insane. So far, that felt, right? And a lot colder temperatures. But look at this, guys. A lot colder air will be back starting Saturday. Tomorrow, another warm day. Back in those lower 40s, and then things will be improving. So the lakes are still a little dangerous. By sketchy, I mean a little dangerous. Not safe to be walking around on the ice. Some of them are a little bit safe, but please be careful and always go with someone and make sure people know where you're at. Low pressure system is moving out of the region, but cloudy skies will continue to stick around overnight tonight. Tomorrow, though, we're going to see lots of sunshine. Temperatures back at around 41 degrees. I know there's a lot of people excited about next week's forecast. I know, right? 20s, let's go. Thanks, Conrad. We'll see you back here at 10.